key feature of results-based schemes is that it's clear to farmers what results they need to achieve and they can adjust their day-to-day -day management of their land and their livestock accordingly. This approach provides both environmental value for money and benefits for the farm business. So we've got two measures in our programme. The first measure uh, is action-based, so we co-fund with the farmer uh, a series of actions to improve the, the condition of the land uh, and the habitats. Uh, the second measure then, which is a pay for performance measure, we basically have a top rate of 120 euros per hectare and it's very simply done. We assess each farm on a field-by-field -field basis. We rate each farm according to the grazing level, the feeding system, the water uh, uh, point uh, quality, uh, the soil health, uh, the level of encroaching species and so on. So introducing um, uh, this results-based system has been really fantastic, I think, from the farmer's point of view. And we've seen that in, in farmer feedback, about 97% support for this system of payment. I think for farmers, it gives them, first of all, the flexibility to farm. Um, they needn't do this if they don't want to. They can do it if they want to in a different way as well. But what has, what has happened is that farmers have now started to compare field scores. That my field is scoring a 10 out of 10. It's really good and they're getting more money for it than I would normally and it's improving and so on. And he compared with another farmer who's scoring maybe 8 out of 10 and what's, what's going wrong. So it gives the farmers a new language to talk about the environment and the environmental output. And one that makes real sense. Uh, also, when we look at, uh, talk to the farmers about uh, results, we say we have to show year on year an improvement in the environment and biodiversity because this programme, the funding for it is justified on the basis of the improvement of biodiversity in the borough. Results-based schemes place more responsibility on the farmer to determine what management is needed to achieve the results and then monitor that to see whether these are being achieved. Most farmers welcome on-farm advice and support both in managing their land for biodiversity and for monitoring the results. I do mee aan de resultaatbeloning van onze natuurvereniging Wapenland en Dijken. Ik vind de resultaatbeloning heel belangrijk omdat dan het geld terecht komt bij de mensen die het meeste doen voor de weidevogels. verder werden we door de natuurvereniging begeleid om een cursus te doen zodat we de vogels kunnen herkennen en de nesten kunnen herkennen. Ook krijgen we via de natuurvereniging vrijwilligers op ons bedrijf die de nesten opzoeken. Verder komt de veldmedewerker regelmatig kijken om eventueel nog een paar percelen uit te stellen met maaien als er nog veel pullen zitten. So we say to the farmers that look, by, by um, farming in this way you can improve your agricultural performance, you can also improve your agricultural and economic performance. Uh, uh, so it's a win-win-win situation if you do it properly. And, um, it's, it's, it also uh, benefits you and your family because by managing the local environment well, you and your family are the first consumers at the end of the pipe to benefit from that. And I think we also say to farmers that look, you're not doing this for Brussels, you're not doing this for the National Parks and Wildlife Service, you're not doing this for the tourists, you're doing it for yourself. This is your heritage, this is your community, this is your place. So this is your future we're talking about here and farmers respond really well to that message given the proper support to do so.